for the Horde! Greetings again, this is Valander uh, making another audio commentary for WC Replays. Uh, this is during my <laughs> lathering night where I got my uh, hand icon. I think this was the last uh, last match. Last match. Yeah. And uh, it's against a player called Tack um, on Plunderal again. And uh, he's undead, he's north, he's yellow, I'm pink, I'm using uh, the uh, set alley color mode to the uh, handshake and magnifying glass, which means that I'm blue instead of pink. Uh, well, I don't know about you guys, but uh, but uh, pink grunts uh, doesn't fly, you know, there's no way you can win. <laughs> Even though I'm not red, I'm doing my best here, and uh, hopefully you were all at the 1 minute 1x one speed, as uh, in all my commentaries. Also, when you download the commentaries, it says 60 seconds, so, you know, if, if you're not there, uh, that's your fault. So, we'll start at 3, 2, 1, and pause. And I'm doing the regular thing. He's uh, going for a crypt uh, altered ziggurat, so he's not going for a fast fiend. He uh, throws up the uh, graveyard right here, um, which leaves him with uh, very little gold, uh, and he goes for for the wolf. Um, he was random in this game. Uh, he got undead. Um, which means that since I don't know what he is, I'm going for the Torn Chieftain. If I'd known that he was undead from the uh, get-go, I would have gone for Blade Master, but uh, I didn't know, so I went for the uh, safe bet. I mean, after all, it's 70%, 75% chance that he's not undead, so I went for the Torn Chief. <coughs> uh, my my uh, new strat for taking on undead is the Blade Master with uh, Mirror Image and, and Critical Strike. Since the big problem of the fiend strat is the death knight healing up the fiends, uh, I figure if you just use the grunts on the fiends like usual and send your blade master after the uh, death knight, uh, he will most likely uh, try to get away, which means that uh, he's busy microing his hero while you're busy microing your grunts. Uh, all you have to do with the blade master is throw mirror image and send both the mirror and the and the. Uh, blade uh, against the hero and just leave him alone um, and then just run if he gets very uh, very damaged. Anyway, enough of that. I uh, go up to creep. I haven't chosen my skill yet because I don't know what he is. If he's uh, night elf, I want shockwave. If he's uh, grunt, I w uh, grunt or human, I want uh, uh, stomp. Uh, so I wait with my skill. He's running with a uh, dreadlord and uh, ghouls. He's making a bit of a mix in this game, actually, uh, which is uh, very interesting. He gets his uh, two relics right up in front, as most players do for some reason, while I have a tight base set instead of here. It's pretty much uh, the same way I do things uh, on this map. Uh, the only difference is that if I'm on the uh, north side, I put the, uh, the uh, Voodoo Lounge uh, by the uh, mill, but uh, for some reason I have it here on uh, when I'm on south I could put it up by the mill too but uh, it works it's it's not right in front um, which is uh, the main idea main point he's going creeping with uh, four wolves and his dreadlord and I'm going creeping with my grunts and my torn chitin I'm now starting on I'm now two thirds on the way with my second barracks I have the everything I need for the uh, for the power push build right here. He's running from just one crypt, researching uh, uh, cannibalism right now and having a fiend on, uh, on line here, uh, or in line to be trained. Uh, with the uh, Torn Chitin as well as the Blade Master, um, getting uh, some creeping done is, is good in order to use the Blade Master as, as a hero slayer. 
you need the uh, critical strike so uh, getting up to level 2 for the critical strike and, and, and um, you're pretty well set I go to attack here taking on these creeps I mess around a little focusing on units which isn't a very good idea with grunts because you're going to have them running all over the place and not doing much but uh, finally I figure okay this is not working so I do a general attack move He's moving up towards his natural expansion. He has now one fiend and uh, the same four ghouls. Still running from just one crypt. He is now taking up to also the dead so he can get some statues. Um, I faced a, a uh, master earlier in one of my losses during uh, this night. Got the Crypt Lord with bugs. He got Rod and Necromancy and he got ghouls and uh, he ran down to my base and he uh, ran down the left side so I didn't uh, meet him on the way up and while I was in his base he was in mine and uh, when you have a lot of uh, bugs, ghouls and skeletons it takes down birds really fast and uh, even though I teleported in he had my uh, peons and my uh, my burrows stun and that was pretty much it, there was nothing I could do. Uh, so you might want to think, think about that if you're undead and facing uh, an old player. Um, if the enemy is there it's of course a little bit harder but since I wasn't there and Teleporting takes about 5 seconds, that's a lot of time to kill burrows and burrows go down quick even if you slam every peon into them. You might want to consider that. It's a quick win. I think it was less than 7 minutes. <laughs> okay, so he teleports in. He now has 3 fiends. Four, sorry, 4 fiends. Uh, still some uh, ghouls, although I managed to take down some of his ghouls. Ego, Shockwave. I was thinking uh, Stomp, but since he had ghouls, um, Shockwave will eat ghouls and it will do damage to fiends too. Of course, not all that much at, at level 1, but, uh, but uh, it helps. He is now at level 3. He has the Vampiric Aura at level 1. He has sleep, and uh, I think I saw a Kerian swarm. Um, I decided to leg it out, uh, reposition my forces, and sleep is very annoying, pisses me off. Of course, that's the whole point of it. And here we have a headhunter uh, being rounded to my hero, and he stands right in front of him, staring at him, wondering what the hell to do, and blocks me off. Luckily, he wasn't chasing me down to kill me. But uh, you won't believe how many times uh, I've lost heroes because routed units block me off when I'm trying to run. Uh, be quick about it. If you see routed units heading for you, move them out of the way. I'm using uh, Solve and the uh, character portion on my hero. As we all know, the uh, Torn Chieftain doesn't have all that much mana, I mean even uh, at full mana I can get off two shockwaves, that's a hundred uh, uh, mana each. So you're going to need charity potions and uh, yeah, you all know about the torn chicken. <coughs> of course, uh, besides the, the uh, good uh, stomp and wave, Another benefit for the power push is the is the um, endurance aura, which makes your units, especially the very slow attacking headhunters, uh, faster. I get more goodies. I get more units. I'm now a tier two. I get the pillage because I figure I'm going to spend a lot of time beating on buildings. I might as well get paid for it. And I get a beast theory for the raiders. Uh, raiders pretty much just laugh at at undead bases. Uh, they are medium armor, same as range. Uh, they take less damage from towers, and, and uh, this hall of the dead just does 11 to 12 damage. Even with the cold, the uh, raiders are so fast that uh, that uh, you don't have to worry about undead bases. Of course, just like the uh, catapults, it's tier two. So uh, you better have a serious force before you try uh, breaking into the undead base. 
He's uh, running up on the side here. <coughs> he uh, calls one of his fiends. I'm getting my units up and ready to attack, and uh, one of my uh, demolishers is caught here all alone. I see that, and I take my second uh, demolisher that's on the way. I send him back home, uh, figuring I'll pick that up later. And uh, knowing that he's there and he's probably heading for my base, I figure I'd beat him to it and attack his base, uh, making him... Uh, do you think his options? Uh, he hasn't repaired the tomb or relics, and I take it down. Done. No more potions, and no more uh, rods and necromancy for you, and then I start attacking his uh, halls of the dead. And um, I have pillage. As you can see, every attack gives me gold and wood. Which is pretty lovely. I di decide to dance a grunt, but don't get him out of the... Uh, of the uh, danger zone so he just keeps getting focused on but uh, it won't do much damage. I throw off a uh, shockwave which uh, affects buildings and uh, now his hall is down. Whoopsie. He is asleep on my torn because he knows that the torn is a fucking beast. Get off a shockwave on the crypt fiends, focus uh, my uh, headhunters. They do work on fiends very well, even though the damage is only 75%, uh, it still is damage. And uh, I go to town on his units here. He uses another sleep. Now I'm getting some uh, raiders up here. I don't think I even moved the, uh, the uh, demolisher until the game is pretty much won. Go up to level 4, which means uh, I now have another skill point, of course I was sleeping so I couldn't fucking use it, but uh... <laughs> okay, so we focus on his hero, goes down, he has two things left and he did get an ank somewhere uh, and get his uh, dreadlord back, but he's done, I mean what can he do, he, he's out of his necropolis, uh, even though he has uh, a fully functioning mine and a crypt uh, and a snare and kill on the dreadlord and it's done. Tack leaves the game, I uh, was uh, I was typing here uh, so I uh, hit space and that means the game continued and, and anyway, never mind. What wins the game is, is more units. Uh, if you have the units um, and the enemy doesn't, that's pretty much all you need to know. Although, uh, just as a tip, which I probably shouldn't tell you people, I did face a uh, orc player on uh, two rivers uh, during this night. He got a Farseer, four towers, and taked up the Tauren and uh, Witch Doctors. And since I couldn't break into his base with those bloody machine gun towers, he got Torn, he got Witch Doctors, he also got some Vibrants, but uh, they were uh, not all that much to worry about. Uh, he managed to take up, I didn't manage to break him, and uh, he broke me. So, you know, uh, throw up a tower or two, and then at least that will, that will stunt the, the power of the, of the Power Push. Uh, and since, if you're fast taking, and, and the Power Pusher has to take up the tower too for, for catapults, uh, that's one way to break the harbor. Anyway, uh, thank you for listening. I hope you uh, uh, enjoyed the game, and I hope I didn't bore you too much. And that's it for me. Cheerio.